Matthew, many thanks for, for joining us. Uh, how's, how's pre-season going then? No problem. Uh, yeah, pre-season's a good start to it so far. Uh, boys are putting on a shift so far, some uh, tough sessions. I seen there that you were in Switzerland for all day. Um, how the other half live, eh? Uh, it, was, uh, it was enjoyable to get some time off. Uh, I was in Spain as well, so uh, it was good to get time off and back at it now. And uh, chat us through last season then, uh, 29 goals. Um, did you set a target to score that many? Um, how, was, how was it for you on a, on a personal level? Um, my personal target was to beat the season before, so beat 22. So thankfully I was able to do that with the 29, but I look back at the last season with a bit of frustration with how we done as a team. I think uh, with the quality we have in the squad, we should have done a lot better. Um, maybe should have qualified for Europe or won the, the League Cup. And obviously two new faces in so far, and, and Davy and, and Graham. And Graham will be trying to stop you training, and you'll be looking to, to link up with, with Davy at, at the other end. Yeah, two quality signings. Uh, I think Orm was saying signings he wants to bring in. We're going to be like starting players uh, to replace what we had. Um, Graham Kelly is a great one, one-on-one -on -one defender. It's hard to get past him. <laughs> and uh, David McDade, he's, he's quality. He's well known throughout the league to have great touch and be a goal scorer. So. Two of them settled in, settled in as if they've been here for five years already, so great signings. And obviously Marty McCann's been, been on the training pitch with you, what's it like learning learning from him then? Yeah, Marty's been quality to be fair, his, his sessions are very good. Um, he's got very close to all the lads already and he's a bit, he's a bit mad. <laughs> He'll settle in well with you guys. Oh, yeah, 100%. And obviously, uh, you're now number nine. Um, something that was offered to you, uh, I'm, I'm led to believe. Yeah, Oren, Oren had the chat with me and that offered me the number nine shirt. Um, James had served it very well, so um, I'm grateful to be, be number nine now. So hopefully nothing nothing will change. Have you been number nine at Balmain or, or, or Lumfield? No, first time in my career I've been number nine, so apart from when I was younger. And obviously you don't need me to tell you that our last number nine, James McLaughlin, scored some memorable goals for Corian, both both in Europe and, and domestically, and I'm sure it'll be, be something you'll be looking to, to emulate. Yeah, if I can bring as many good memories to the club as, as James did with his important goals, then I'll be very happy. And on a personal note, then, what's the hopes and aims for, for next season? Uh, personally, I would love to qualify for Europe and get a trophy, and for myself, I'd like to beat be last season. So, 30 goals then? Oh. We'll see. <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining us. No problem.